Revenge is a dish best served cold, and that's why in this video we'll be recommending some of the coldest revenge K-dramas to binge watch on Netflix. As usual I will be recommending only the best of the best, so if you're an OG K-drama fan you must have seen at least half of these. Hey, don't forget to leave your favorite revenge K-dramas in the comments so others can enjoy them too. No gatekeeping allowed. At number 1 is the K-drama titled The Glory. This is one of the best K-drama titles ever. The Glory is a revenge K-drama that was released in 2022, yet the memory of this masterpiece still feels very fresh. This K-drama was Song Hye Ko's real comeback to the big screen after what happened in 2019. It is an embodiment of what a well-thought-out revenge plan is supposed to be. The mind games and psychological thrills within this K-drama makes the story relatable and easy to digest. And if you plan to take revenge on anyone anytime soon, maybe you could take some pointers from this K-drama. Trigger warning this K K-drama has graphic bullying content enough to get you very upset, and while it can be triggering it makes it easier for you to be immersed in the story, so make sure you get your tissues, your snacks and your blood pressure in check. At number 2 is My Name. This K-drama with a less impressive title is also a thrilling revenge K-drama to watch. It is not my favorite, but there are people who might literally fight me if I fail to put this K-drama on this list. My Name is a revenge action thriller that was released in 2021. It features Han So He as the female lead and driving force of this K-drama, and she did not disappoint. For those that love short K-dramas, this is a right pick for you. It has only a total of 8 episodes, so if you're not too busy you might be able to finish watching it in one sitting. The fight scenes are entertaining, the storyline was okay, and the ending was a bit unexpected, but if you want to know more about this entry you'll have to check it out for yourself. At number 3 is one of the most expensive looking K-dramas you will ever see. The Penthouse is a K-drama that not only features revenge and karma, but also has enough wow moments to keep you addicted. This K-drama boasts a total of 3 seasons with 48 episodes, so it is quite a long watch. The first season was undoubtedly a hit, and this paved the way for more additional episodes. The Penthouse War in Life is a revenge K-drama that mixed a varied range of genres till it almost got out of hand. It had elements of satire, romance, action, politics, drama, thrilling suspense, you name it, it had it. Feel free to add all three seasons in your Netflix list if you haven't seen it. It is guaranteed to give you a good time. It has a lot of adult themes, however, so parental guidance is advised. At number four is undoubtedly one of the best K-dramas on Netflix regardless of its genre. Vincenzo is a top pick if you're looking for a K-drama that has elements of revenge, justice, comedy, action, suspense, and drama, with a slight pinch of romance by the side. Vincenzo is the king of law K-dramas, and it also shines in this category because of its retributive aspects. If you haven't seen Vincenzo yet, I can assure you that you're in for a delight. Catch some of your favorite A-list actors in this series. It had some of the most versatile cast and each character killed their roles perfectly. Feel free to add this K-drama to your list on Netflix if you haven't seen it yet. Have you ever seen any terrible Park Saw June K-drama cause I haven't? And he once again aced this K-drama. At number 5 is Itaewon Class. Itaewon Class is a gem among other revenge K-dramas due to its general appeal to different groups, especially the youth and young adults. There are many life lessons to take away from this K-drama, and its ability to make you part of its story is simply chef kiss. Literally. On this list, this is the revenge K-drama that has the best method for getting revenge. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. It is a 16-episode K-drama that doesn't beat around the bush. It goes straight to the point. And while revenge is the underlying theme, the revenge served in this K-drama was not only satisfying to the soul, it was simple and effortless. If you've not seen this K-drama yet, run like the wind to add this straight up into your Netflix playlist. At number 6 is an even crazier, equally funny Korean series about law and revenge. At first glance, it might not seem like much but when you start watching this K-drama it grows on you and keeps you fully invested. The female lead in this K-drama is known for her funny, eccentric expressiveness and she does a good job in getting a superb revenge for her doppelganger. A fellow contender for the sixth spot is Taxi Driver. The first season of Taxi Driver is definitely worth adding to this list. It was simple and uncomplicated and the chemistry between the group was heartwarming and funny especially for an action thriller that was mostly dark. The second season is not Netflix. At number 7 is Good Bad Mother. 
This K-drama should have been higher up this list cause it's that good. Since we're still on K-dramas with a bit of law sprinkled in, here's another entry for you. The Good Bad Mother is an emotional K-drama that will unlock your childhood trauma if you had strict parents while growing up, and for the first time in a while we got a Netflix K-drama that was so relatable it won many hearts over globally. This 14-episode K-drama will not let you rest emotionally once you begin, but it is worth a watch, and it is definitely a superb revenge family series that you just have to see. At number 8 is Celebrity. This K-drama was one of the most popular Korean series on Netflix upon its release in June 2023, and it was trending for all the right reasons. Celebrity as the name implies revolves around the lives of influencers as they fight tooth and nail to keep up with their online celebrity status. This K-drama builds tension right from the first episode and draws you into its world of glamour, betrayal, and revenge. It is a thriller that doesn't fall short of expectations if you're looking for a K-drama about revenge that you'll enjoy thoroughly. It has just 12 episodes, and you can stream it on Netflix. Yay! At number 9 is The Last Empress, and there's a special reason why I absolutely recommend this K-drama. I remember leisurely scrolling through YouTube some years ago when I stumbled upon this K-drama titled The Last Empress. I almost confused it for Empress Key, as at that time I hadn't seen either of them but as soon as I started the first episode it was a done deal. The story was strong and striking and the quest for revenge was tactful and super interesting. You know how some people think fairy tales and marriage is a scam? This K-drama will make people even more skeptical about the Cinderella fairy tale and marriage as a whole. It is a criminally underrated K-drama, so I'm sure at least a larger percentage of you all watching this video haven't seen it yet. So do go check it out. It's also streaming on Netflix. At number 10 is The World of the Married. Why does it seem like a lot of these revenge K-dramas centers around a lot of uncles and aunties? The World of the Married is the kind of K-drama that makes you suspicious of people close to you. The depth of betrayal, anxiety, and revenge that was revealed in this K-drama is enough to keep a lot of couples second-guessing. So if you're married and you're paranoid, I do not recommend this K-drama. But if you are not faint-hearted and you are looking for a revenge K-drama with a lot of drama, then you're at the right bus stop. The storyline was immaculate, and the plot was very logical, which is super important for any revenge K-drama cause the audience must be able to understand the motive for revenge. In this K-drama, the motive was very strong and the retribution that followed was very very needful. As the title suggests, however, this is not your typical happy-go-lucky K-drama. It was made for a mature audience so keep away from children. Since we are on the marriage trajectory, then let's lump two more revenge K-dramas about marriage. Honorable mentions are Marry My Husband and Perfect Marriage Revenge, both of which are highly recommended K-dramas about changing one's destinies and getting revenge while at it. Marry My Husband is the most recent revenge K-drama released on January 1st and traumatizing people way past Valentine's. The last episode was released on the 20th of February 2024. To explain how messed up this revenge K-drama is, the second male and female lead were tormented for their roles as backstabbers in this K-drama. Seems like not everyone can differentiate scripted television series from reality. Let's blame it all on their masterful interpretation of their roles. Perfect Marriage Revenge on the other hand was released late last year in October 2023 and it also dives deep into the world of betrayal and revenge. While this series is more easygoing on the heart, it's also a revenge K-drama to watch out for if you enjoy K-dramas that centers on people taking matters into their own hands and dishing out to those that have hurt them a taste of their own medicine. Unfortunately, both of these K-dramas are not yet on Netflix. Finally, the only high school K-drama that made it to this list. Revenge of Others is a thrilling K-drama about revenge and the pursuit of truth. This K-drama took its time to weave a suspenseful plot that will keep you engaged and invested to find out what will happen and how the truth will be revealed. Unfortunately, this K-drama is not on Netflix at the moment. If you want to know where to watch these honorable mentions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching as always.